All right, here we go. So the plan is I'm going to get this thing done, this confidant done with... Oh yeah, we're going to finish it. <laughs> I really don't mind. So I've already saved and stuff, so let's just uh, jump on in. Yeah, we'll join her. Why not? So let's hang out with Oya. Take a seat. Oh, her, her phone. Sorry, I have to take this. Just a minute. Just a minute. Wait a minute. Yep, replace the previous article. No worries, right? Might as well go all out if we're going to do this. I'm going to scrap the others and rewrite them as well. Yep, tomorrow morning then. Sorry, that was the chief. He's been great. He's ignoring the higher-up's orders to help me. I'm doing a special expose on the Phantom Thieves, and the Chief's helping me. It's about their origin and the root of the problem they're trying to solve. I think it really captures the spirit of journalism. It's my original field of expertise. I am a journalist, after all, you know? The higher-ups were against it. But this expose has been very popular with our Mute again. <laughs> Since we've sold so many copies, there's nothing they can do about it. Or us. So, we're planning to throw in additional articles while we have the chance. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. This is only just the beginning, though. Alright! Let's have a victory celebration! Lala-chan, I hope you have some dumb perignon for us. I told you last time, we don't have any of that here. <laughs> That's what I figured. So I love her voice. At the wine shop. You're so gross. <laughs> okay, I'll go get it for you. <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> okay, I'll go get it oh, for you. Oh, such a cheerful spirit, Lala-chan. Impressive. Looks like Lala-chan took the hit. Yep. I wanted to speak with you. In private. Oh, about what? I'll loosen up a bit, will ya? I've been quietly making preparations to write a story about Shido's confidant, too. Oh. Going to uncover the truth. I swear to Kayo. Thanks. Kayo. Not Again. Kayo, Kayo. Whenever I felt like giving up, you encouraged me to keep going. It's all thanks to you that I was able to get this far, Mr. Phantom Thief. <laughs> she knows as well. Heart happened exactly the same way as those other cases, and the timing was absolutely perfect. You're the only one who could have orchestrated all that. So you knew all along, of course. It was so obvious. Of course, yeah, she knew. From all the recent coverage, that the Phantom Thieves truly are valiant, helping the weak, punishing the bad. They actually do all those things. In a sense, you and I have the same objective. We both want to expose the ills of society. So, I won't tell anyone about your true identity. Let's form a united front to fight evil. If it weren't for you, I never would have been able to return to my journalist self. My high schooler source who manipulated information ended up manipulating my heart oh too. I'm going to return the favor one of these days, all right? <laughs> Until then, we'll race to see who can expose evil first. <laughs> oh, bless her. Well, we've done it. Rank 10, devil. I am thou. Thou art She has a fun character, but, you know, she's not, like, my favourite personally, but yeah, you know. Blood thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the devil. Granting thee infinite power. All right, awesome. Legendary scoop. Security level will not increase and will drop to zero overnight. Oh, awesome. I don't know if I had that ability or not. All right. Pretty good though. All right. Anyway, where the hell is Lala Chan? Shall we get started then? Considering we're already in a celebratory mood. I wonder if you'll make it back home tonight. I'm gonna have you stick around till the very end. I will not accept your refusal. 
All right. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, she's uh, something. Oh my god, it's like 25. Blame the politicians too. I told you so. Oh my goodness. They need to be executed like the guillotine. Oh my god. That's funny that they included that, isn't it? Like, we talk about guillotines, about executions, and there's people talking about that kind of stuff on the forum. Oh my gosh. The methods are unknown, question mark. Got doxxed on the thieves yet? She please regret, ha ha ha, shut this site down. Oh no. Support went to LOL. Oh. Just kill everyone, yeah. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the horrible people that can <laughs> say things about other people and all that. Because, you know, people be like that as I saw earlier. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? Oh dear. I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite Akechi-kun? Uh, should be fine, I guess, but... Okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. <laughs> okay. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even going to get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no brainer Oh. Damn, you're real impressive. She got the skills. But then, wouldn't he wonder how we acquired his number? I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. Can you send me the number, Futaba? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. Oh. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. I guess it makes sense because they can't just, you know, ask Sai because she'll get super suspicious like, Oh, why are you asking me all these questions, Makoto? Getting a bit pushy, aren't you? You know. I should find the true like culprit. This. That's the objective. All done. Okay. And we can't do anything, so... Gain the Ketchi's trust? Or intel? Yeah, that's what the objective was. I had a dream where I was on the school roof, talking with Yusuke about our futures. I feel a little closer to Yusuke. What? Okay, fine. <laughs> Quite an odd choice of... I thought it'd be someone else to say. On a rooftop, that... Like, when I heard that, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Where's this going? Are you gonna jump off it or something? Jeez. I was going somewhere odd. Hey. 
Oh. 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 Okay. Hmm. Moving on. Because <laughs> there's so many discussions that we like just bump into and all that. Okay, class, let's Have you made started. preparations for the festival? Ooh. Is there a qu oh yeah, there's a question. Okay. We are prepared. ESS stands for English Study Society. Okay. There are tons of free uh, acronyms like ESS in the world. I need an Can you tell me what the S in SOS means? It's meaningless. That's yeah. SOF, uh, SOF is off then said to mean save our souls uh, another interpretation too save our souls oh save our ship yeah, yeah. okay cool um Am I going... I don't know if I want to change the title of my stream. Uh, I'll probably just like say number two. Okay, that'll be fine. Just to update it slightly. So people don't get confused and it's like the same name as the last VOD. Nice going. Alright, awesome, there we go. All done. Mm. Oh, we got our test answers. Our grades. <laughs> I'm dead. I wonder what score I got. I'm top of the class, yay! There we go. Thanks, test dancer guides. Thanks, Google. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's who my thanks go out to. I want to thank my, uh, I don't know, guardian. I don't have my parents right now. I want to thank Google. I can't thank my parents because they sent me off here. They sent me to Tokyo. Oh, gosh, okay. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If the Ketchi can decline our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it'll be fine. Alright then. I just need to get a Ketchi kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's the guy up to anyways? <laughs> He hasn't done anything since he said he was gonna he was gonna go into hiding. All oh, right, okay. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Okay. Hopefully, he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Oh no, his call is on our phone again. <laughs> and he just throws the chalk at our face. No like, Sheesh. what are you doing? Pay attention to class. You'll fail school if you don't pay attention. You'll fail all your grades. Fail everything. Oh, we gained charm. Cause, oh yeah, because we dodged it. Yeah, because... Um, one Is it like proficiency or something? Like, if it's high enough, all we right. dodge it? I forgot. Yeah. But everyone's like, whoa, he dodged it. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's proficiency. Oh, hello. Just Welcome a person. Home. Hello, hello. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh. Oh, that would be funny. Honey, I'm home. You're back off, Oh my god. Just a casual How response, like. For you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. 
What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth <laughs> search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do it. <laughs> oh wow, the catchy has appeared. Also, hi, hello, Sora. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for joining. This is Hope you're doing well as usual. And one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible. Yeah is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of Sips our nation. <laughs> we must Even though I've got coffee. This problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Okay. Okay, Boomer. Like, this guy is pretty much a Boomer. He's got the lockdown and everything. <laughs> what are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. Uh, it's nothing to worry about it. You're standing too. <laughs> I am, yes. I was in the middle of playing Persona 3, which I found out was on PS3's PS Store. Really? <gasps> oh, I might have to get it then. So I, I never joined the stream earlier today. Oh, yeah. Honestly, you didn't miss much. It was a, it, it was a bit of a shambles towards the end of it. Oh, it, it was just awful. Basically, had to ban someone for saying something offensive to uh, someone else in chat, and I think they said something about me. But I was like, eh. but I don't, I don't like putting up with that kind of stuff. So I was like, no, you're getting blocked. You're not staying on my stream. I'm not having you say horrible things about people. But yeah, uh, let's say, don't worry about it. I'm not worried, moron. You're obstructing business. He has the coldest responses. Like, I'm just saying, don't worry about it. It's fine. And he's like, I'm not worried, moron. Like, so, like, aggro. Calm down. That politician is Calm. An Please, be kind. It feels like be respectful. Leader for Japan has finally come forth. Spread love, not us? hate. <laughs> Wasn't that guy didn't get the message earlier, clearly. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. Oh. True nature? If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then, even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Badoom, I feel... oh! Oh, ranking up! Yeah, 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 because we have his confidant. Rank four. Uh, there we go. All right. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin. Oh, County. whoa! You can play it on PS3. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. That's pretty cool. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked. So I'm guessing you could. Uh, PS2 class. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy I could see you. So I'm that. guessing you might be able to emulate it then. I'm guessing that's the case. But yeah, that's pretty. I never knew that Persona 3 was on uh, on the store. That's pretty cool. For me, it's eight pounds, so that's about twelve dollars, give or take, something like that. That kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a good, uh, good bit smarter than you, huh? Wow, of course he'd say that. <laughs> of course he'd say that about me. 
you can buy Persona 3 on PS Store for $10, and yes, it is a PS2 classic. Okay, yeah. That's pretty cool. Well done. Uh, yeah, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi Kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. Thank you, the first step is done at least. Either way, the real issue is what, uh, what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. You wanna come to Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. That sounds good. At a time like this? This is the perfect chance for us to relax though. Haru, uh, are you okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Oh, Haru is so adorable. She cares about everyone, even when things in her life are going topsy-turvy. She- I love her so adorable. Okay. Gain Akechi's intel is the objective. Hold them. She is a sweet girl. She is, isn't she? She deserves head pats every day. <laughs> right, so I'm actually quite alright with these confidants now. I'm getting a lot of them done. It's just like the party members that are the ones that I'll need to take care of in the future. I can't do Futabas because I need to do the request, but I want to get the request for this one because I think I need to talk to him again and then we'll get the request. I only have two requests at the moment. And then after that we'll have the final two requests which are towards the end of the game. It's like um, the, f the one that pops up uh, next in the game is going to be on the 11th or the 24th which is going to be in game November the 24th so like a month's time. So now I just need to decide what to do, what to do to pass the time. But I don't really want to hang out with anyone at the moment. Or I might have to. Because <laughs> there's like nothing to do. There's nothing to do in the game. <laughs> Let's see. So we got these places. Arcade, Big Bang Burger, Beef Bowl Shop. Oh, I could work. That's a good point, actually. I could work in game. Let's go to the convenience store, see if they got any things that we can, like, buy, any exclusives. I don't think they'll have Persona Mitch or whatever, will they? They probably will, but no. Nah. I probably should have bought more of them, but it's fine, it's fine. Because, um, like, people... Are like, oh, the Phantom Thieves, let's get some Phantom Waffles and all those things that they can Take get. Your time. But I think because we had the decline, we're at like below 50% now. So I, I think that means that we can't get them anymore. But I think we can still get. What is it? Like. Autumn? Welcome. Yeah, we can. We can still get Autumn exclusive items like the Moon Burger. That's one of them. And I didn't know about the sweet potato vendor. I'll show him off, actually. He's, like, in the back streets. I never knew this guy was in the game. And he, he would, like, give you sweet potatoes. He might not be there at the moment. No, he's not there. But normally he's, like, around here. I saw him during the daytime. And I bought a sweet potato off him. All right. Let's go somewhere else. Let, yeah, I think I'm going to work in-game. So let's do that. I'd say Beef Bowl Shop would probably be the best one. I'm not going to read any books though because I can naturally read the rest of the books. I've only got a few books left and then I'll be able to get the achievement. So instead I'm just going to work, get money. <laughs> It'll burn, get the meat. 
Nice job. Awesome. Okay. Bit of money. Kaching. Man. Are you okay? You're all alone out there. Yeah, burning food, washing dishes, doing all the things that no one else would do. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's twenty three percent. Of course, there's no phantom merch anymore. They're like, throw it out, get rid of it now. <laughs> we don't need it. We're not gonna sell it in time. Don't restock. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah, this place got famous and all. Phantom thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no rules. Remember when we went to the beach before? Why not go about it like that? Um, the school festival in name isn't supposed to be for fun. More importantly, it's possible that both your names have come up during the investigation. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time. Making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um. <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. A lot of nasty stuff's continued lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? All oh, right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. Yay! We're gonna explore. We're gonna do festival stuff. Do cute things. Get food. This Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. What the hell? Well then. I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry, we're out of cod bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Wow. Oh, I can see that. Great service. Yuchi, you're making a scene. <laughs> then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. 
I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. <laughs> we plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. <laughs> yeah, truth now. Uh, that is possible. We won't let that happen. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi Kun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh they made. They microwaved it. Lies. I heard a microwave they? go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? <laughs> Do you want to go for the red one? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say no, because I actually don't like spicy food, but apparently uh, takoyaki is some sort of wheat-based food item. It is similar to like a meatball, since it's normally stuffed with like diced mince or meat or something like that. And it has uh, octopus, green onion, uh, like ginger and stuff like that. So I'm gonna say no, thank you. Oh, you sure? Yeah, I've All never right. tasted it either. Oh, I just googled it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Google, here. once again. The the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I just did a quick Google. Uh, it's just that. So a lot of people will be present. <laughs> Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were so Marry me. <laughs> I grew tired of the baseless Marry me, senpai. So I escaped to where no. there weren't any people. Just no. <gasps> I'm going to have one of these. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, <gasps> the special one. Let's just call this my performance. Oh, wow, the catchy appeared again. <laughs> but it's fine. Hmm. It's quite the. <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a Oh bad my god. Idea. My throat. <laughs> this is. Oh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I, I, I'm. I'm fine. I just love uh, spicy. spicy stuff. <laughs> hey. Does he sound broken to you? <laughs> broken. Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t tomorrow I think he just took part in the green chili challenge... Wow, ghost chili... Really ghost pepper challenge, jeez. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some... Green chili. <laughs> but, did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best. No, he he can't handle it. He just wants to, uh, you know, know delicious that. pancakes. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That's all what. he wants. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. <laughs> You're just imagining it. Don't think too much about it. Hmm. So I guess we got through all of that. Oh, all of it. Okay. 
Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm as tired as now, uh, tired now as I am after midterms. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I love as well that, you know, we've been doing the whole confidence with Futaba and here she is, here she is in a group with friends socializing. You know, look how far she's come. I'm proud of her. And she looks pretty cool as well. I haven't uh, said it properly, but I love her winter outfit. It's like, this is the part of the game I most look forward to with her. <laughs> because I, her outfit is amazing. I had fun as well since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? Like, she's she's got a good style right there. With her thigh highs and her boots. And then a, a little short shorts, tank top, headphones, best part. <laughs> and a coat, yes. She's grown so much. She's a fierce lady. And then the next one who's going to be a fierce lady is going to be Haru when we get to hang out with her more. I appreciate the, de uh, the gesture, but I am satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with the kun again tomorrow after all. I have to agree. Mm. What will his next move be? Who knows? He ain't, you know, he ain't is, uh, he, uh, he isn't our ally yet. <laughs> well, then. That's his panel tomorrow. His panel is tomorrow. Okay. Okay, let's just go to sleep, I guess, because we nice. can't do anything else. Let's do it. Go, go, Detective Prince! Bring on the breakdowns! Oh dear. Typical bandwagon GG. Justice sounds hollow now. World famous something. I couldn't read that. <laughs> well then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. Oh. I hey, feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? Wow, hilarious. The last slide. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So funny. He's a comedian. He's, he's not. Says they haven't he's not a comedian. Murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the phantom thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, Seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why it says if you're a prosecutor? Won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Spill the tea. Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including... 
I think I'm going to go now and see if I can get further in Persona 5 now. Yeah, have a great time. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a lot of fun on Persona 3. Um, I really want to play it at some point as well. But yeah, I hope it goes well and I hope that you enjoy it. And have a good time and I'll see you again soon. Right, moving on. You're welcome, but I think you'll have a great time on it. Because I've, I've, I've heard it's really good. I've heard Persona 3 is a good one. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth. You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> the truth. What do you mean? What's he planning on saying? What do you mean? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi san? That idiot! <laughs> no. There's no way he could have any evidence. Oh. Would you mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so? Go for it. I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption. <laughs> Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. Oh. What's he scheming? What do you want to talk about? That's gotta be shocked. <laughs> I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Of yes. course, of course. What are you talking about? As I just said, I know everything. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the nav. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. <laughs> We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. I thought he said it's no use then. <laughs> it's not us. No matter what you say, my belief won't change. In all honesty, I've Damn been it. curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? 
because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's oh. when I saw someone else moving about. Besides Fancy. You, he shot at me the moment he noticed me. Very devilish. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? Th this cat. I swear, it just... <laughs> Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. <laughs> They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. Really? And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you, along with that video I mentioned. <laughs> blackmail. This ain't no deal, it's yeah, blackmail. That's what it is. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai San is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai San. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai San can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after Oh. This. What should we do about Akechi san's proposal? You're demanding a lot. Yeah. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I can sense a bond of trust? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Fake friends or what? <laughs> oh my god. All right. That's the vibe I'm getting. It's like, you know. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like oh, this. He's, uh, yeah. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? 
My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. I'm off he goes again. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! <laughs> oh, fading now, hello. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, game. We saw that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks for blackmailing us. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Oh yeah, because uh, we got a lot to think about. Oh my gosh. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something oh, like this? Oh no. If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover, I knew it. She's. Oh, God. Oh. Has he figured it out, has he? Since he found that calling card? The post festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Oh, it's Haru. Oh. The post festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace, how about it? Alright then. Sure, let's go. Thank you. I'll be waiting at the gym uh, gymnasium. Alright then. Let's go hang out with Haru. Yeah, she needs friends more than anything right now. Ooh. <laughs> a stale clap, yeah. A pig a clap. Hey, I can't stop thinking about what a Ketchikun said. <laughs> um I'm worried. It's so frustrating being unable to do anything. And now it's time for your favorite shooting tradition. The student sharing special. Round of applause, everyone. Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. All right. Who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's going to choose? I wonder who it will be. How about that fluffy-haired girl over there? I choose you. Huh? Is he... looking this way? Well then. Oh dear. He's talking to me, isn't he? You're up. <laughs> so it really is me. Aww. Come, come. She sounds me. so sad. Well, I'm going. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara son? Um, 
Artist's apologies. Oh, please don't worry. So, uh, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Something to share. I have too many things. Uh, here, let me give you a question then. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? I need to change the subject. Well. <laughs> Please date me. <laughs> yeah, let's go for that. Do you have a boyfriend? To tell you the truth, I'm interested in that. Oh my god. <laughs> Dear, oh. Well, at least we helped her out, right? The post festival party is finally over. It turned out to be more like an interview party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. You were in trouble. <laughs> huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. Just kidding. Who knows what may lie ahead? For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here, I'd like you to have this. I bought it earlier. <laughs> now then, let's go home. Jeez, I'm hearing a lot of noise outside. It's so frustrating. I think people are still doing like, I don't know, construction maintenance stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, which is, like I said earlier, we did just have a storm in the UK so people are probably dealing with the aftermath but I think uh, we're okay as far as I'm aware everything's fine something happened to one of our fences but we dealt with that like as soon as we found out hmm? welcome home you took off somewhere during the festival huh I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Utaba, what are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. Oh no, is this about what I think it is? Oh no. The mass oh, no. media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? 
Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? I return. Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Oh. <laughs> uh, the... Oh dear. We love a bit of construction noise. <laughs> We're home. Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain? Is it something that you can't explain? If this keeps up, Futaba's... Oh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a... well... a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since... Mom died. I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought, your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. 
I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that she might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? These people are called criminals by the general public. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a Phantom Thief for the last six months? And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was... Me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless and a laughingstock, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Just do as I say. If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Let's eat. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. At least we avoided the worst-case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. 
Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. She's just gonna crash after all that. Oh my gosh. Don't blame her. That was a lot to take him. But the secret's out, he knows. What? He knows everything. You gotta be kidding. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Ishi was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourselves in, did he? I think in the ca in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit who pursue we we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't you say boss had to run from it all? Despite, uh, does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? It could be. Culprit. Oh. Someone very powerful. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? Well, I mean, it's, come on, it's gotta be someone with power. But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not possible. That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to get uh, to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win no matter what. Yeah, we're gonna win. Yeah, he had an inkling. Decide on a catchy join in. Right. What are we like on the calendar? Okay. Nothing major going on until the third, which is culture day. Alright then. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. Oh, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. It's late already. Is Sojiro still awake? This is kind of awkward. You can sleep on the sofa. Wait, shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so that Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? <laughs> He's got a point, but that wasn't an option, was it? I'm gonna go home. Night. Oh. See, she's growing so much. Oh. Poor Futaba. Let's call it a day. And it's descending still. Yay. Support went to rubbish. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen and considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further... If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day. Even at school. Why did this happen? This isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, alright? 
I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that oh. reward? <laughs> that was the fight. Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! Oh god, a bounty? Oh no, we got a bounty already. Oh dear, they're probably trying to like... Catch us out, aren't they? Three million yen? Oh my god, what? <laughs> How much? That is just shocking. Right, let's go over here. There we go. Right. Yo, you see the news? I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure where we're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good though. Let's talk more in person. Yeah. That's very true. We're wanted now, and the reward's 30 million yen. That's a lot. What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashida too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm Jeez. Sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji, taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. Hey, what do you think? How did we lose? What did we do wrong? It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot. I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults. 
To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still, it's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Okay. All right, sorry about being muted and stuff because my neighbor's being Yo. so noisy right now with whatever the heck they're uh... trying to do, just trying to bash a wall <laughs> as they usually do. I hope they're bashing a wall and nothing else. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what Ryuji has to say. Hey, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, blame, uh, being framed and the added bounty, it all felt like such nonsense. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I lost it, I'm sorry. Oh, I know how you feel. Huh? You too? It is confusing. We wanted criminals now. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I haven't changed at all since the time we went against Komashida. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. And again. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice. But that would make me no different from our targets. I called them dimwits, but I almost... I I must be the dimwit of the dimwits. I couldn't even joke about it. I, I don't really know how to rephrase that any better <laughs> without having to say that word. Um, things will turn around. Ishi, <laughs> you're right. Oh, not again. I can start by changing who I am now. Oh. Thanks, Ishi. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh. I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. Oh, isn't he sweet? I got a message from a Ketchikun. He wants us to gather at LeBronc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. We'll see you all tomorrow. Mm. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Alright. Okay. We can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. Oh, more story. Let's do it. Uh, we're, we're blazing for it, though. There's a lot going on. And all that with the story, so you know, it, it's dragging on, but it will calm down at some point. 
it's good though don't get me wrong it, it's just that it it you know it comes up with these games with this game it's like it's very long because there's like gameplay then there's story and they they like alternate between each other but they have like focus over another and at the moment it's a story politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Yeah. Gosh. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change your heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? What? <laughs> you saying the police would do such a wow, thing? Wow, that's a bit scummy. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! You're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? 
You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Oh. Dude. Wow. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? What? It was too selfish of a reason. Can you? Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me. So I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. Oh, okay. I see. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Will you tell your sister? The heck? <laughs> of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Right, we're going back to the present. Okay. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi-kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. 
When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. So I slowly starting to accept the truth. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm um, guessing, yeah. Yeah, she's right. trusting us more because we're being more open no, about things. I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Oh, okay, yeah. Summary. Oh, cool. So I think this is going to be towards when we get into the palace or whatever. Something like that. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. What? <laughs> a girl shouldn't say things like that. Oh dear. You tell her too. Don't do that. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> no. Ahem. Also, I may That's be too much. It, but my voice... Too pervy. Ow! <laughs> Same as always. Let me finish first. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Okay. Stuff's going on. Interesting. But it's funny that this sort of thing is it's happening more frequently now where we're like losing focus or whatever. Now for today's trend news. Okay. About the front of Thieves. Government disbandment. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of politi poli <laughs> politics stuff going on. In the background. Um, are we meeting up today? Oh right, we were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint, the government office district. Oh. Indeed. I've never heard of that place, never been there though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is immense. Uh, impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office and Public Security. The Diet Building is right near there too. For real, what kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi-kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we are just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory? Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on your guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. Oh snap. Stuff's happening. We're going there. We're gonna meet him. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking Ugh. at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. But this should be a substantially forced operation. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. 
And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> Bets! Uh huh? What about my smartphone? <laughs> this is the model I wanted. You're so lucky. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. <laughs> Sai-san told me the gist. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, yes. too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. She loves her tech. Through our positions are somewhat different. Akechi will be joining us for the time being. I feel like my bond with the Akechi has grown even deeper. Oh, look at these. Oh. Ooh. If you look closely, guys, it says here New Ability Baton Pass, so you know what that means Follow up Detective Talk Harrison Recovery All right. You know what that means You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about <laughs> cheating She's praising you, I believe. New party member. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like sai -san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Huh. Gambling then. How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai San in you. Yeah. Creepy. <laughs> I well, see her in you. Right in then. Yeah. Same. <laughs> oh. So we're going to a casino in Sai's palace. Oh my goodness. Oh, cutscene time. Yay. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. So if you guys remember, that's the start of the game. This is where we started. When it had like that cutscene in with the helicopter. Yeah. This is where it all started. First cutscene. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. <laughs> the police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. 
That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's not. <laughs> oh. Then perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. All right then. Let's head in to the palace and uh, take your time screens changed. This is business as usual. First off, we need to find an infiltration room. All right then. So, I'm just gonna save the game here. Right. And we are here. Ready to go on. Oh look at this, our party members. How cute. <laughs> and they're just like following us around like, yeah. Alright. Yeah, let's uh, go this way. No? Okay, we got- wait, oh. Oh, there we go. Let's go up the stairs, go- oh, <laughs> we're just walking up, like. I don't know if that was the game or if that was me, I think it was the game. I can feel it. Focus. Yeah, I can't- I don't think I can sprint. It looks like we'll be able to sneak in from here. <laughs> Here we go. Oh? So this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, are you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. That's true. Hmm. No, this is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more ap apt for piercing rather than sticking. <laughs> That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino, there's no doubt this is a palace. Oh. oh right, Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah yes, in addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. <laughs> that probably don't make much sense because of all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these ones look uh, like real people, Saisan's view, uh, view of others is surprisingly undistorted. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. What? Not all cognitions are real though. In Futaba and Akumara's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful, particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm, this is the uh, this is the first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Hey. Just don't slow us down, Crow. <laughs> I will not allow that to happen. Alright then. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? <laughs> my god. And my apologies. Well then. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. We got Crow on the team, even though he's blackmailing us. <laughs> well then, let us begin by securing our route. But he seems pleasant enough at the moment, so it's fine. So of course, 
because he's the new party member, we are going to have him in the party. So I think I'm gonna have. Oh, uh, let's go for Makoto, Haru, and Akechi. Because, you know, this is Sai's palace, so I kind of want to have a sister up in here. So now let's go through his equipment. He has Lumina Sabre. That's the only weapon I have for him. And he has Mobius Toy Ray Gun that's popular with children. Oh, cute. And his uh, Sabre, an authentic imitation energy sword for kids. Oh. And we got formal shirt. I could go for the reduce magic high. That would be a good one. Yeah, let's give him that. And I have something that will be good for him. Because I believe the type of magic he is able to use is light. And I have just the thing, if I can find it. Somewhere. There we go. All stats to bless attacks up. And that is... What is it? The Kai I Noir or whatever. <laughs> Said that terribly. What have you got again? You've got this, so that's luck, and you have that. XP. Okay, yeah, we'll keep you with that equipped for now. Alright, great. Let's have a look at his stats. He's level 45, a bit higher than uh <laughs> Haru. She's really low. Quite shocked about that. Oh, and look, yeah, this is his persona, by the way. Robin Hood, pretty cool. Heavy, mighty damage, severe physical damage to one foe, medium blast damage to one foe, medium curse, and he also has the insta kill skills if you want to use them as well. And he also has Fortify Spirit, increases chance of being inflicted with ailments, so that's pretty helpful. And then he's gonna learn this new skill, Heavy Bless. So yeah, he has the balance of light and curse damage, which is great because no one else is able to use those. He's the only character that can uh, use an element that is light and light or bless, bless or dark curse, same thing. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think we're all good with the catchy. Oh, let's have a look at his. Uh, confidant. There we are. He's rank 6. There we go. So he's going to be pretty helpful in battle with his new abilities. And let's... Hang on. Yeah, let's go to his stats again because I just want to... Uh, I, I don't know. I kind of want to swap these up just to order them nicely. Well, actually, no, that'll be fine. It'll be fine like this. I think I'd rather have physical in front because I like to have it in a certain order. I have like physical, then I have magic, and then I have passives or like uh, ailment skill things. Oh, and it's just Robin Hood on his bow. That's pretty cool. Right. We're ready, and he's looking pretty swag in his getup. I quite like his um, outfit, to be fair. I think it's pretty cool. Hexagon, like these. Anyways, yeah. And he is currently chilling in the back with his long nose. Looks a bit like a witch doctor mask. But I love a good witch doctor mask. I think they're pretty cool. So we need to go this way. Oh, not that way. And then, did I go that way? I can feel it. I can see it. Focus. Oh, I see. I have okay. Hmm. We can go from this way, right? So if I go this way, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a crawling space. Let's. Just uh, have a look at this door first, though. Oh, it's barred up. It won't open. Could it perhaps be blocked from the other side? We should probably try to look for enough way around, uh, enough way through. 
Yes. Which is why this is here. Crawl space, let's go. Investigate the casino, steal Sai Nijima's heart. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. Oh, it's... She can see us? You're after the treasure, are you not? Oh, look at her tattoo at the back. That's pretty damn sexy. Come on down and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. Look at her get up. So you've come. A bit scary looking. The treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Okay. Fair and square, eh? Over there! Mm. It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come on, Joker. Let us pursue her. Let's do it! Let us get after her, Joker. Mm. Alright. So, we can go up here as well. Where does this go again? Oh, it's just a blocked off then. <laughs> Smart. Nice little bit of detail. I like it. Blocked. Is this blocked? Yeah, okay. I don't remember this palace too well. That much out of all of them because it is like the last one. But it's a fun palace, I will say. It's pretty cool. No, it doesn't look like it's going to open. And I like the little treasure things. They're pretty cool. There's the safe room! Yeah. Let's get some rest. Right, let's save the game. Okay, and let's have a quick catch up with the dudes. Well. How's our progress? I never thought her palace would be some kind of casino. All this shiny stuff starting to hurt my eyes. I think we can expect great things from the treasure if the world itself looks gaudy. Gaudy? I don't know. Gaudy. Ga I don't know. Now ain't the time to be talking about that. We seriously can't F this up on, you know? Yeah, it's like our last chance, right? We have to take her treasure at any cost. What are your thoughts? Shall we go? Oh, and he's like sat on the... <laughs> I like that. He sat on the, uh, the sofa thing. Pretty cool. And then she's on the other side. Nice little details, because they all sit in the, they all stay in the same sort of area. Yeah, like you'll notice this coming in and out. Like our main dudes are on the table. Like you know, you got uh, Skull, Panther, Noir, Mona, M uh, Makoto. Well, uh, sorry, Queen, and Fox normally stay at the back, just standing up by the wall. Then you got Oracle hanging out on the sofa, and then you got Crow just like sat on the sofa, just like contemplating. Okay, let's move on. And Oracle's probably just like going through all of the things that she's hacked in the palace. I don't know. Somewhere. All right. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's take a break, okay. shall we? Um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and take a, a short break, but I'm gonna keep the stream up and stuff. I'm just gonna like, 
you know, quickly refresh myself and stuff because I am starting to lose my voice a bit. But we're going to go a little bit longer, probably for like an hour if I can. But we'll see how we get on. So hopefully I'll see you in a bit. That is the plan. <laughs> but yeah, BRB guys. Okay guys, I return. Okay, I am here. I am back. I had a quick break. But I am back and also my dog has joined me so he may be able to hear him in the background or even see him if he sticks around for long. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. So yeah, let's just go ahead and continue. Like, I don't think we can leave. I don't think we- I think we have to keep on going. Alright, time to go! Do we have to go up here or is it like- Hang on, I think we need to interact with this first. There we go. Authorization, authentication required, please insert your member's card. Mm. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. Yeah. I can't handle your technical speech, just give me it straight. Do you have a moment? Casinos typically have a membership system called the player's club. Okay. Some locations even have areas cordoned, cordoned, oh, cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. Oh yeah, because you have people that are like higher up and stuff here. What? That'll make this stuff simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. I see. She must be daring as to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Huh. Here it comes. Oh, it's one of those leopard things. No need to worry, I'll handle this. I need to prove my whiff to you after all. Will you be alright? Who knows? I would estimate that you all won't even have to step in and help though. Here we go. So he gets this little awakening moment. There's Robin Hood. And here we are. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Nice one. And he's the first one to go as well. Okay, let's start off with Mag uh, Megaton Raid. Whoa, what? That was good, yeah. All out attack, here we go. What? And that's his all out attack, it's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I'll um I'll remove the face cam the next time you get a a all out attack finish with him, but oh it's so good, it's so so awesome. I was not expecting that at all. You're not so bad. And I am capable of much more. Now then, let us deal with the shadows quickly. Wait, doesn't it sound like we're gonna get him ambushed based on what we heard earlier? You're right. I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quickly as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I'd suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well. I intr I trust your experience and judgement. Let us do that. Indeed. Indeed. But that was awesome. Already off with an all-out attack finisher with Crow. First time he's in battle. Wow. And he's already in the texts. <laughs> Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take though. That is unnecessary. First we secure an infiltration route, then send a calling card. Correct? 
In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would uh, would be something along those lines. A plus. It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't under miss. Don't under uh, don't under uh, bad, bad, bad. don't underestimate it. <laughs> don't under yeah. I am not underestimating anything. I assure you. By the way, Nijima Sh uh, San's shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? Of course. Perfect. I will be available at any time you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prepare well. Uh, let's prepare well for the coming task. Ah yes, my apologies for somewhat de uh, derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Akechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes, I'll do my best to live up to all of your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Alright, well it seems like we've pretty much deducted what we need to do now. We got the palace sorted, we know the shadow we need to deal with, we have access. Okay. New party member, pretty sorted. IMO. Things have really soured. There's even a bounty on you guys. But I seriously believe that phantom views are innocent. By the way, I changed up the survey question. It's already up in flames though. It's a problem for me too, if people don't think the Phantom Thieves are heroes, just try and clear the stigma on your name as you possibly can. As soon as you can. Okay, I'm counting on you. So, are people turning on us even um, even in his survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low. Okay. I should write something. Let's save over here. Alright. So we've got that sorted, taken care of. Hey. And it says the objective where my face cam is covering it. It says steal Sai Nijima's heart new objective. Okay. Alright, there we go. Let's just have a rest then. Got a text. We got a text. We got a text. Hello, he says sorry. Why? Why are you sorry? Oh, cool. So we can finally hang out with Shinya. I don't think he'll like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this before. He doesn't like it when we're eating in front of him. The time has finally come. No matter what happens, we have to change her heart. Right. I'll be counting on you. We may all have our own unique way of dealing uh, of dealing things, but we just proceed forward as usual. Leave it to me. Don't worry, Ishi. I trust you. That's why I ask that you lend me your uh, your help. There's no need to get too worked up about this, right? Take as much time as you need to get ready. Anything goes as long as it help. Anything goes as long as it helps out our mission. Okay, I did say that right. You have our trust. You're our leader, after all. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. All right, let us, let's make sure the plan is a success. The plan for changing Sai Nijima's heart has begun. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. Mission start. Hey. Oh yeah, about the text thing. Yeah, about the request, we'll, we'll get onto that. Palace question mark? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the palace. I really don't know. So we got Makoto up 
Oh yeah, and we have... If I can... Uh, we've got a opportunity to hang out with Haru if you notice there. But it is greyed out, and that is because we haven't unlocked her confidant yet. So that pretty much... yeah, that confirms. We are going to be getting her confidant at some point. So we got Shinya. Yeah, like... I don't know, I think I'd like to take care of her confidant. It kind of sucks that she's in the party before Crow, but she doesn't have any abilities until after Crow joins. Like, she has to work her way up. Whereas he's like, nah mate, I've got abilities because we tried, like, back when there was only four of you. You know, he, he gets that pass. So it's like, oh, okay, okay then. I see what you're trying to do there. <laughs> Cheeky, isn't he? He's cheeky. He's getting those free abilities, whereas Haru, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any right now. She might not have any until like a while, to be honest. So yeah. And I'll be uh, figuring out when I will be doing like the grind, because there, there's a grind that will be coming up. So what I could do is like, I could wait until I have to go into Mementos. That's one thing, but again, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how to go about it. Like if I should do it now or or like when I get the, like I could kind of technically do it now because I need to get the request from Shinya. And once we've got that, I'll be all good to go and we don't have to worry about requests until like November, so that's like a month from today in the game. So yeah, hopefully that all gets sorted out. We'll have to wait and see. If uh, we can get that sorted, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Just checking everything's all good on Twitch. I think everything's okay. Right, okay, there we go. So I'm just going to check his confidant again. So if we go to tower, it's rank 7. And we've already got everything. Okay. But we do need to talk to him to get that request. So that's the first thing we're going to do right now. Did I? I already got this one, didn't I? Yeah. I don't remember that machine, to be honest, when I was playing the game myself. I do not remember that creepy crane thing. I don't remember that one. I remember the others, but, you know. Hey. Right, let's uh, give it to him. What? Oh yeah, because uh, we need the calling card thing. He needs to be the one to give it to his mum. There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> Another calling card. And this is the one. Great. Okay, great, 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 great. <laughs> my mom! The Phantom Piece are targeting my mom! Yeah, that's right. They're targeting him. So she is. Uh, bad after all. Oh dear. What's the best options? Tell us, guide. Tell us the answers that we need. It's rank 8, yeah, so the best options are she's... No, she's not, or is that what you think? Let's go for the bottom one. Yeah. My mum used to be nice, but right now, I think... Dot, dot, dot. To be honest, I've never thought that for a while now. She, Yeah, she's one of the bad guys. Oh. Poor thing. My mum... Sorry that I say men, by the way, because, you know, it's a British thing. Do you think they'll actually be able to change her heart? Believe in them. That's the best option, apparently. Yeah! Yeah, you're right. They are the Phantom Thieves, after all. So... Someone hey. has to give this to my mum, right? That's gonna be you. <laughs> give it to them. Okay, I'll do it. Is it too much for you? Well... It is kind of my fault. 
that my mum got this way. She had to deal with a lot raising me on her own. She had to uh, get stronger because I was so weak. But... That's not an excuse to hurt the people around her. She fights with everyone about everything and ends up getting hurt. At this rate, my mum's going to break. I want my mum to realise that she doesn't have to be strong for me anymore. But she won't listen to me when I tell her that. That's why I want to help the Phantom Thieves. I want to stop my mum. Aw, let's save her. Josie-san. Okay, I'll give her the calling card. Alright. She's my mum after all. I really want to help her. The next time you see the Phantom Thieves, please tell them I said thank you. And thanks for talking to them about this, Josie san I'm going to teach you my best, strongest move. Oh, cool. Which one is that? Electric slug increases the damage inflicted by bullet hail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a really helpful right. ability. Where you can just, like, get the drop on enemies when you first go into battle and an ambush, I think it is. Oh, I guess it's like... <laughs> hey, do me a favour. Don't tell anyone you saw me crying earlier, okay? Oh, poor thing. He's just a poor, sweet young boy. Poor wee young boy. Alright. Oh, and say hi to the Phantom Thieves for me. Later. <laughs> cheeky. Icky, cheeky. So, what's going to be happening now? You're back. Don't know what to say. I'm glad you made it home. And it's the Sunday in the game. Yo, Akechi, what is it? You got any idea who the true culprit might be? Oh yeah, you said you saw a masked guy, right? I wanted to ask that too. Did you really see him? That masked guy's gotta be the true culprit, right? If this so-called true culprit, a culprit is acting alone, then there can be no mistake about it. I see. The next question is, who is that masked man? Unfortunately, I do not know that much. Oh, you're useless. <laughs> that is quite harsh. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's savage. That wasn't a compliment. At this point, I have yet to even grasp any clues. But once this is dealt with, I am I will surely capture him. I promise you that. We'll be counting on you. Perfect. Leave it to me. It may sound somewhat odd for me to say this, but I am an exceptional detective. I assure you, I will catch this culprit. Look forward to it. He doesn't have any clues, but he's confident enough to say he can definitely catch the guy. No wonder he's a star detective, even the way he talks about things is different from us. <laughs> well, he's very unique in his own way, isn't he? He just likes his sweets a lot and all that other stuff, you know? Right, so we don't really have any confidants to take care of, do we? Oh, my doggo. <laughs> He's being quite noisy. Oh, my poggies. I love that move. It's so funny. No shopping channel. Oh, okay. It's normally on a Sunday. But it's fine. Let's get some coffee going. Hey. Yep. Make sure you close up. Thank you. Get the coffee going. Let's go to the airsoft shop because we can check out the weapons and whatnot, can't we? Uh, let's shop. Anything to sell? No. <laughs> A dice shaker, because we found that in the palace, didn't we? All right. Sounds good. Oh. No mercy. Be sure to choose carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get mm, that one. Sure okay. thing. Nah, we won't equip it. But it's for fun. Oh, we can upgrade that one. Let's upgrade this for fun, just to show it off, you know? 
because I'm not I'm not really gonna use it otherwise am I but we can upgrade this again some more accuracy and damage yeah let's do that, mm, that was your thing. and now that I catch he's on the team I'm gonna look up where I can get the best items for him okay. can I buy oh right, yes one? I can buy a new sword for him this has more damage less accuracy but That's what you're we like to, the I damage guess. so equip that and we should have more weapons, yep. These are all weaker of course because we have the best weapon for her. Uh, you must be scheming to do something. But to be fair, these are actually pretty good items, like the abilities and some of them are pretty decent. They have fairly good damage as well. So it is always worth checking into this store, even though I don't go here a lot, you know? And like, check out weapons. It's been a long time since I last did that. I kind of realised when I was playing through today, I was like, oh, I haven't looked at the weapons in quite a while. Today. Oh, that's Mikoso, yeah, yeah. Haru? Oh, we can buy an... Oh, okay. Let's buy this. Uh, don't equip to just yet. Sirius is the name of the weapon. Can it be customised? Oh, it can. It has lower accuracy but more uh, strength, attack power. Brainwash low. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get caught okay. up in a racket. That's what you're choosing. Yeah, let's upgrade that one. And we get the discount, of course. Uh, come okay. again. Right, let's go through everything with Akechi with the items we just made. Okay, so that's the best sword. Yeah, let's go for the higher damage one. And I want the passive as well. Passives are fun because it changes up the gameplay. It makes it interesting. But yeah, that's fine. The protector is fine. Oh, that's another thing. Let's quickly look at the... Uh... No. I don't want to do that. I want to chop. Buy protectors because I haven't checked them in so long, like I said before. They're the cat ones. Email ones. Uh, you must yeah. Be to do something. Accessories, that's another one I haven't right, checked. <laughs> well, that's one. 100,000 yen if you don't have the, uh, uh, the items on your first playthrough, you know? Yeah, I just wanted to look. <laughs> so, I've done all those. I'm going to have a quick look at the guides. So let's go Persona 5 uh, items because uh, that will give us a list of all the items. And then let's go to uh, Akechi. There we go. Right, so from the looks of it, the best item that we can only get the yeah this is like the best item this is the best weapon for him right now and for his ranged weapon we can actually get a really good gun for him in Nijima's palace and we have to do something special in there but for the time being the best a weapon we can get now is the one that we have equipped. So, yeah, we'll try and see if we can get that uh, weapon in Nijima's Palace. It shouldn't be that difficult. And I think we're fine for the armor. It'll do for now. Like, I, I can't really... Uh, I'm not sure how to get the other ones. Yeah, it's like unholy armor, but that's like a wild... Like, that's quite far into the game. And I didn't do that previously in my previous saves. I didn't grab them. Because they are quite difficult to get. You have to be... I think you... Yeah, you have to be in Memend House for them. Like, towards the end of the game. So it's going to be tricky to try and get them. But it's it's kind of a shame that I didn't do that. Because I, I wasn't really aware at the time. Yeah, so let's do a quick save. And let's have a look at his stats. 
So if I go to Akechi, and we have that item that increases the stats, yeah, they're pretty good. Okay. So, oh, I was gonna look at something else now, I think. Oh, yes. The grind, because uh, that's going to be coming up. The opportunity to do the grind since we have everyone in the party. We have a good, huge party <laughs> in the game. So it's, uh, yeah, I've talked about it before, but it's like the flu season grind. Flu season reaper. That's like the trick. If you Google that, you'll find out how you're able to farm him. And it, it's basically the fastest way to farm 99, uh, level 99 XP. Um, yeah, we've already done that. So, in the game, there's, um, I think there's only two dates where we can get the flu season grind. It doesn't become available until flu season. Flu season is only available on specific days, so don't miss it. Okay. And then go there, area one, and mementos wait for a reaper to spawn, just wait for a few minutes, okay. So that gives us time, we've got time to like, work on that. Uh, and I'm just gonna google flu season dates, just to double check that, you know, uh, what when the dates are. Because um, I, I need like a reliable source to be honest, that'll be like, oh these are the dates you need to look out for. Flu season in Persona 5 can be timed down to, what is it, 11th, uh, no, 13th of November, 14th of November, 8th of December, 9th of December. So they're the only dates we can get the flu season and that's when we're going to go to the palace. The problem is with the Reaper is that it's uh, it's very very hard and you can actually get an achievement so if you're trying to do the if you're trying to get the achievements all the achievements then you have to try and take him down and this is like the easiest way to do it. So not only are you getting like a bunch of XP you're also working on achievements so I have quite a long time to get until there. But the problem is right so if I go calendar Right, okay. So really, I could... <laughs> I could wait until those dates, maybe? That might be a good idea. I'll probably... Like, I might do things off and on. Like, I might try and get the best weapon for a catchy. Then, when I've done that, I'll leave and focus on working on confidence and grinding. That might be a good idea. But yeah, I think for now I'm going to keep on working on Confidence, so I'll make a mental note of that. So it's the 13th and the 14th towards the end. So yeah, this is today and as you can see it's like treasure room deadline, calling card deadline. So I'll be fine. Like, you know, I, I'm pretty confident I can get everything done. And uh, really, I, I could even focus on party personas. That would be quite a good idea, actually, because I've been holding off on them for a per for a reason. I've been holding off on them. Right. So let's see. Let's see. It's the evening, right? Okay. Let's have a look at Station, uh, Station Square because I can't remember when the uh, ticket thing is, like when, uh, the lottery ticket, that's it. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, here you go. Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god, we got 100,000 yen! Oh my god, that makes it for all the money I spent! Yeah! I'm happy with that. Hi. God, my luck in, with the money in the game has been great. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, not really. This happened last time. 
What is my luck? But I didn't get this much. I got like what? Ten thousand yen. Because the, the the tickets are three three thousand yen, just to put it into perspective, so I gained seven thousand. And now I've just gained what? Ninety seven thousand yen? And now I'm gonna get more. So that ticket is two hundred. How much is this? It's, oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But that that luck is insane. I've been, that was so lucky. I've had four wins in a row. Proof right there, live. Proof. What a good streak. I'm buying another one. <laughs> See, this is the problem. We're in a casino right now in the palace. This is not good and promoting gambling. I shouldn't be doing this. Because I'm not like this at all in real life. I don't gamble at all. Oh my god. I've only done like one lottery ticket once in my life and that was for my birthday when I was 18. Oh my god. I think I won a free ticket but that was it. It's normally with lottery tickets it's like no 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 maybe one but you don't win anything. Wow 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 wow. Do you know I haven't been to the clinic in a long time in the game. I haven't been to see to Kami. I'll probably have to go visit her to buy some items from her. Other than that, I I might be able to make something in the Bronx. I just thought of that. Like, I don't really need money. But something I will do whilst I'm here is increase affinity. Um, or... Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, yeah. Let's do Futaba. Yeah. Yep. Right, we've been increasing Shinya's affinity like crazy, so I doubt that it'll be low or we won't be able to rank him up anytime soon. Like, the only loss is that I lose a bit of money, but you know, it's like, eh, it doesn't really matter. It's not matter. It's not matter. And thinking about it, um, I might actually do the grind off screen for the flu thing. Like, probably what I'll do is when the time comes for flu season, I think what I'll do is I'll show it off, like, how to do the grind and then I'll do it off screen because I'm not gonna lie I think it takes quite a long time to actually do the grind because I remember it it takes like what two hours or something and there's not much point in showing it off because it's just like the same thing over and over again and the only thing you get that's different is like what I learn that are like new abilities but I can all I can always just like show what I got in the end so I'm not really too worried about it and I'm, I'm planning on doing a bunch of stuff before the grind anyways like it's in game I've got 14 days to prepare f before that and, I plan and I'm planning on going to the palace not to finish it I plan on going on the palace to like you know just go there um but I don't know what to do at the moment in the game ah I'm probably just gonna make some curry or coffee I can't remember what I asked her to do but yeah that's the plan. Well, it's sorted. Or I could read a book, actually. Now nah, let's make curry. Let's make curry. Oh, we can't. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. So we got batting cage, essence of fishing. And fish pond spotter. What is fish pond spotter? Oh, beginners. Okay. Essence of fishing. Now you become a master. Oh, you finished reading it. Oh. Okay. Let's read that then. Okay. Alright. Let's just read this. 
Hey, hey. And then we got one book left. Oh my god. Essence mm. of fishing. All right. <sighs> I can't believe I'm getting things done and I'm I've nearly finished all the confidants. Like I'm I'm at a point where I'm uh, checking <laughs> confidants and it's like oh no one uh is is uh, no one that I can max out yet it's like they're already maxed out it's starting to get to that point <laughs> so the focus is gonna have to start to be on the high members isn't it that's pretty much what's gonna have to happen. Good morning. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Makoto. How are you? Yes. Oh. oh, I said I'd go to the thing. Oh. Well, we're gonna have to cancel plans. <laughs> no, well, what we can do is just be like, oh, these are the, requ the, blah, 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 the requests I got. Is starting. <gasps> oh. well... Should I read and get it out of the way? Where I kind of want to read. Please give me the achievement. <laughs> Buying K uh, techniques for pros. Mm. Yeah. Please say I've read them all. Oh. All right. I got it! Yeah! Bookworm! Oh my gosh! I've got it! Ah! I'm so close to platinum! Let's go! Oh my god, I did it! Yeah! I was so worried I wasn't going to get bookworm. I see. Oh, I'm so happy. Um... Yeah, we have until the 20th, but we're fine. Yes. Bro, we're fine. We got this. We got this. It's fine. Hmm. No need to worry. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm sorry, but I don't I don't feel like reading all this right now because I'm losing my voice. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be dead because I'm not normally used to recording like all day. Yeah, let's yeah. just uh, get those. Really? Yep. Oh, so we got that one. Got that one. Wait. The killer who cleans up trash. Thought it's just a meal ticket. Where's the other one? A mother's aggression. Oh, okay. So do we have to talk to him again? I'm guessing so, because I don't think we got the request, did we? Well, what are your plans? Okay. So we've got Yusuke, Haru. Yeah, we could do Haru. Because we haven't got her confidant yet. And, um, yeah, let's, let's just it. save here. Right, okay. So I'll try and see if I can uh, get that request from Shinya. Right, so first we need to go to the rooftop. That is where she normally hangs out. That's where Haru hangs out. Right here. I probably should have checked her text, but it's okay. Hi. She could. Have you decided on any plans for today? Let's hang out. Huh? At a time like this? Is this perhaps part of your grand infiltration strategy? It's a secret. <laughs> You make it sound like it's really important. I suppose relaxation is pretty vital at times like these. Yeah, especially because your freaking dad died recently about, what, a month ago? Come on now. Hey. In that case, I'd like to use this opportunity to bring my most recent harvest to Sakura-san. Yeah, she said that, didn't she? I'd like hey. to stop by LeBron today. Could you join me? Sure. Great, let's go then. Yay! 
We're hanging out with Haru, finally. Been waiting for this for so long. Hello, Sakura-san. Oh. I'm sorry for asking this of you. It's all good. Not like I have customers to deal with. So, this is what you grew? Yes. I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional. Let me see. To be honest, both the taste and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. Hmm. I first came across the plant in my house. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. I'll take note of that. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. But it's what I want to do. Oh. oh, then. Do you think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? Uh. It's a deal. <laughs> We're like real phantom thieves. Okay, I'll do my best from now on. Isn't she lovely? Arrow seems a little more enthusiastic than before. Here we go. A new confidant. The one we've been waiting forever for. Pretty sure she's the last one as well. The final confidant. It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company oh. building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Tell me about this person. Thou, thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Empress Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Here we go, a brand new arcana called Empress, rank 1, Haru Akumura. Cultivation allows you to grow vegetables with Haru on the Sujin Academy rooftop. Right. A very helpful ability and we're going to be exploiting it very soon. Growing vegetables with Haru, you can ask Haru, who has an incredible green firm, to grow vegetables for you. Haru's vegetables are full of energy and grant a variety of effects when used as items. They may prove useful when exploring the metaverse. Very. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired. I spent some more time with Haru before escorting her to the train station. Oh, that's nice. Very sweet, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh nice. A uh, mother's aggression. So we just have to wait for the text. What did it say again? Gave her the calling card to my mum. A little scary. Yeah, could you let them know? Cool, we've done it. New vegetables! I've been growing stuff! Look at my veggies! Look at my lovely veggies! Alright. So we have them done. We have you done. Let's have a look at the confidants that we haven't maxed out yet. Let's do that. So we've got Judge, we've got Tower, that's a major one. 
We have Hermit. Obviously Justice, because that goes on its own. We've got Chariot, Levers. We've done Hero. We have Emperor. We have Empress we need to work on. Priestess, Magician, Fool. Magician, Fool, again, we don't have to worry about those. So the ones we need to focus on for the remainder of the game is Empress, Hermit, and Tower. And I'll hop between the party members from point to point where it's like this one, then this one, then this one, and this one. I'm not quite sure how to go about it, but we'll figure it out. Like, for example, we have no one to hang out with in the game at the moment. So, right, let's get more coffee. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. Right, awesome. So what could I do to pass the time? I've read all the books. Let, let's just uh, go here to... Oh, it... Thanks to that book about speedy... Oh, I thought it said, oh, I've read everything. No, oh, okay. That's fine. What I'm going to do quickly, though, is uh, if I go here. I'm going to cut this off for a minute. So, no game view. So, got Bookworm, that's the achievement for the books. Uh, I'll put it back for now. Hold up. And you'll hear Kingdom Hearts music because it's the theme I have for my background. So, we have Max Out All Confidants, Complete All Requests, and then the Hidden Trophy is the Twins, we need to beat them. And I hope I can get that done. So that's why I'm going to have to do the grind. Because I won't be able to beat them otherwise. Um, but yeah. I need to try and beat them down. Okay. Let me just... Uh... Okay. Yep. I could make an infiltration item, but I don't know. I'm still a bit unsure. I, uh, I don't really want to do fishing, that's one thing. I'm like, meh, I'm okay, I'm fine. Thinking about it, can I go to the maid cafe? Or do I have to go at a certain time of the day? I can't remember. What's like, doing? I think I don't have a fast travel point because it, I I've technically haven't been there, but I have. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. You can now quick travel to the Akihabara Maid Cafe. Yeah, I've been here before, but I don't know. I might have not saved it or something. But I've got time. I can do it. The atmosphere in here is kind of cute in a cloy cloying way. Oh my god. Welcome home. Master! I'm Clara, your clumsy maid. Uh -huh. Oh, Master, is this your first time here? I'm so happy you came. This is your home, so please relax. Oh my god, it's Kawakami Spawn. So what will you order? What will your order be? Okay, so I think how this works is that you get different stat boosts from these. Oh, love pancake. That sounds great. Sincere omelette. Comes with free ketchup art. Maybe too much for a clumsy maid. Oh. Well, we're gonna buy it anyways. I'm not sure what they do, these things, but uh, I haven't really checked them out, to be honest. As you wish, master. Man, this is pretty overwhelming. All oh, the pink hurts my eyes. <laughs> oh my I was gonna say, there's a, there's a lot. Oh dear. Now I will start drawing with sincerity on your omelette. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I was going to be a mess. Now please enjoy it before it gets cold. 
So what do we gain from this? What stats or is there anything? It's been a while since I last had an omelette. Omelettes are actually quite good. But I like them quite plain. Not gonna lie. Either way, I think you've learned how to get people to like you. Like, cheese and bacon, that's pretty much fine for me. Cheese and bacon omelette, that's all it, that's it, that's all I need. With ketchup, obviously. So it increased charm, right. okay. Thank you very much, Master. It was really fun talking with you. Good Have an day, amazing Master. rest of your day, Master. I'll be waiting patiently for your next visit. Oh, how cute. <laughs> So that was something. At least I got it down as a fast travel. <laughs> oh, sorry, Karakami. I think I bumped into one of your work colleagues. Don't hate me. <laughs> oh, what an eventful night that was, wasn't it? <laughs> Deleted by admin. 17%. Death penalty execute. Oh my god. High chance of something. God, people are saying death penalty to us. Like, that should be deleted as well. 3 million yen. Oh yeah, they're talking about our... Death. Well, not not death, but like... Our capture thing, like if anyone manages to get us. Was school always like this? Did it kind of feel different than usual, do you think? I'm getting a weird feeling too. What do you mean? It's like the people around us seem restless or something. Pretty unsettling, right? It feels the same to me. I agree. Nothing seems unusual on my end. What about you, Makoto? Someone asked ask for me? Everything's normal over here. We most certainly did not ask for you. <laughs> Is Makoto sick today? Sorry, I only just noticed the chat right now. I think everyone's just agitated by the Phantom Thieves rumours. Try not to be afraid by the people around you. It's important to stay calm in times like these. Yep. It is. Hey. 17 days. Yeah, we're fine. 19, sorry. Don't know why I said 17. Right, let's have a look. Okay. The only thing is, I might have to do the requests, like, so as soon as, because I can't, I can't do these, um, you know, these confidant games. The only one I can do right now is Haru. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits for now, guys, and next time I'm going to probably go to the Mementos and take care of those requests. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you again next time for when I'm next going to be streaming. But yeah, I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon guys. Bye 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 bye.